it's showtime. Hey, good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM Roll Tide. It's that time of year again, and we are all Tide fans, except Danny. It's thirsty, excuse me. Thirsty. Joseph, we know you've converted. Not yet. On the way. You got a kid down there? You got to be. Absolutely. <laughs> this is Athens in the AM. Thank you all for getting up. We just finished our first half hour of the Yellow Hammer TV live with Dale Jackson. It was awesome. 5 to 5.30. Y'all can see it again in the morning. We got here at 2 o'clock this morning. Brad was asleep <laughs> in the control room. <laughs> Special entertainment this morning. Back from a beach vacation. He's ready to go. Eric Smallwood. Roll Tide, my friend. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Well, as we all try to get in the groove here, we've got a lot big week planned. I don't know what's happening, but we'll let you know sooner or later. But Danny and Joseph, that's how come. If y'all haven't seen Danny's short movie, that was good, Nick. Thank crab, you, man. Crab Trap, right? Crab Trap. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Thirsty was Thirsty, your name. Thirsty Simmons, yeah. yeah he's that's good. A, yeah, that was a good character. How can people see that? Well, they can Google it now. It's out. Uh, just Google uh, Crab Trap and um, look for the, the little movie deal and uh, yeah and there it is and before oh, long can... we'll pirate it and show it on tv <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's i'm up actually for the fourth best actor award this saturday in georgia you going no no oh man send that's, joseph your place that's a little too <laughs> presumptuous <laughs> for me i don't do premieres. okay i'll go i'll go accept your award then. okay anyway i hope y'all had a good vacation as we did fourth of july was a week ago today you know it rained i think every day last week yeah Grass is growing this high. Get down to Dixie and get you one of them new Toros and keep that grass cut, especially if you're out in Cross Key, Alabama. Stop by Shaggy's and get a cold one. <laughs> yeah, Shaggy, <laughs> Shaggy's history. All right, let's get uh, this party started. If y'all weren't out yesterday, <laughs> hey, it was a hot one, wasn't it, baby? It sure was. What a beautiful afternoon, too. I think uh, Maddie wore out the pool, or tried to anyway. 66 degrees out there already right, this morning. Feels warmer than that, though. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. But no rain today, so get out and do everything that you need to do or want to do. My temperature's around 92 today. Your low of 71 tomorrow. That rain chance jumps up to about 40%. And then, of course, it's going to go up more and more as the week continues. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, rain chances definite. And your temperature sticking in the 80s. Look at that low, 73. Let me tell you about isogenics. You know what? I have got to share this story. I signed someone up two weeks into it and now now these actual dates do change they do vary the results vary he lost oops that person i mean she. lost 17 pounds what? In two weeks and he goes oh, wow. oh wow well he's out he's at the beach well, this week he, I, he goes but how come i still look fat i'm like 17 pounds holy cow 17 pounds. Yeah, that'll, that'll make a difference he goes, it's yeah. probably because i'm not exercising i was like Dude, you lost 17 pounds and not doing a That's bit of exercise. Oh, really not a whole lot of things going on in the parking lot this exactly. morning. Frank, if you're watching this morning, what's more them tomatoes going to be coming right. in? Mm -hmm. We'll have to show some pictures of Frank later this week. We visited yeah. Frank and he's doing good. I man. saw that. Yeah. That's cool. He's doing good. Frank on the porch. Doing good. Doing good. Hey, we got to talk first about our minister and his whole family. They finally got to Zambia. Finally Can got you to. believe that? What a... That was a... I don't oh, know. Yeah. A fiasco, I reckon. Yeah, there they are right there, dedicating the uh, Macklemore awesome. Worship Center, Community Bear, Center Bear over there. Joe posted this picture, and she said it was the most humbling experience in her life when they dedicated it. Wow, that. look at That's that. That's Joe Dare being Dare. the blonde one. <laughs> yeah. Sea of kids. Yeah, she is the kind of standing out there, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> well, they dress up, don't they? Yeah. No. Wow, neat. Yeah. I would think I'd just be in t-shirts and shorts. Yeah. Hey, look look, at, oh, hey, look at that. That's me on the left. Look at the photo. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> the photo bomb. The legendary Junior Hill. Junior watches a lot. Junior. Uh, hey, and he awesome. did a he good was. job, too, didn't that he? That was just an awesome oh, sermon. He, was he still awesome. got it after all these years. Oh, he, he's, he's great. <laughs> 
YouTube. Go to YouTube and just search for him. He's got a bunch of videos. On yeah. That. Hey, birthday! Zach had a birthday. Zach turned 62. <laughs> Happy birthday, Thank Zach! And Joseph's birthday was yeah, yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. yesterday. Thank you. Are you 50 yet? No. Hey, he turned 34. Another birthday. When? I turned 34 on July 4th. Oh, oh wow! Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Yeah. 34. 34. So your nickname's Firecracker. Yeah, yes. Speaking of our own little firecracker, she's hollering <laughs> from the back now, but let's go to KFC Sports. Here is Mama Zach. Welcome to ZTV 11 Sports brought to you by KFC, the best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. Jamie, do I look a little taller sitting over here this morning? You know well, why? You do. Because Dale, Dale raised the seat up all the way and my oh. feet don't touch the ground. I don't, I don't want to touch Dale's. You look good. You know, where he's you got good, sitting. Right? So I'll, just, I'll set up high today. There you go. Right. Hey, media day started yesterday. <laughs> LSU, Arkansas, and Tennessee started. Uh, Ed Orgeron says LSU is out to prove it's still on Alabama's level. Well, keep on trying, mm. buddy. I don't and know about boy that. Darius Geis needs to keep his mouth shut. He Get him back. To run the thing. Said, <laughs> said they were terrified against us last year. They stacked the box up the whole time we ran. What are you supposed to do against the run team? Are they supposed to say, okay, little Darius, you can run it off the middle. We'll play back on you. Come on, what an idiot <laughs> statement to make. <laughs> Sorry, Mama. But that was an idiot statement to make. <clears throat> Get him, so, Zach. So, <laughs> hey, and Brett Bielema, he's a new dad, and he says he's a father figure to these Arkansas players. Well, he better start winning this year, or he, he, him, him and his uh, wife and little baby good. might be heading down the road. Uh, local Bama club to host Eli Gold. It'll be Thursday, August the 3rd at the Revival Building on Washington Street. Tickets are $25 a person to include dinner from 306 Barbecue. Do you know how long he's been calling Alabama games? 30th year. 30th year. You believe that? Oh, and I still know people, Jamie. Got John good, Forney. Got I mean, good yeah. friends that still don't like him because he, he's a Yankee. I'm like, come on, he's been doing it for 30 years. But he likes one He knows Gloria quite well. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, I heard about that. Hey, we'll give a quick shout out to one of our Friends, former Tanner High School principal Billy Owens. He has been named the new Highland Rim School principal. He replaces Garth Garris. What do you say, retired a month? County. Yeah. But, but Coach Garris really pushed that. He wanted Billy up there to take his spot. So Billy's going to get that Tennessee paycheck now. Hmm. Huh? Follow the money, right? Follow the money. <laughs> hey, I got to do a Dear Jamie right quick. I'm going to steal this out of Dear Abby a little bit. kind of reminds me of somebody y'all might know. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It says here, I am a working mother of two, married for 20 years. I get to go to great lengths to keep a Google Calendar updated, which my husband has access to anytime he wishes, Eric. But instead, he asked me daily, what do we got going on today? Or what time is it? Do we have anything happening? What's the weekend plans? Something, uh, sometimes he texts me while I'm working and asks me what time one of our, I need to do something. It drives me crazy. At any hour of the day, he is one click away from all this information. Hmm. How can I get my idiot husband <laughs> to use the calendar and stop Treating me like his personal secretary. Forget Does it say it's thanks, Gloria. Carissa? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sign Gloria. Yeah. Jamie thought he had this grand plan. He was going to move his office up here to the TV. I did place. yesterday. That lasted a day. He's like, man, I'm lonely. Well, the back home. We got this. Uh, <laughs> New show. What's our yeah new show? But uh, the the uh, maid service that came in yesterday. Oh, maid pro! I've got a maid pro. Mm -hmm. did a, fabulous job. Did a fabulous super job. job. Super job. Yeah. Super yeah. nice. So I had to move all my stuff so, out. I, you know. It lasted yeah. a day. Y'all know I'm a new newspaper holic, don't you? Are you a oh, yeah. paper no. calendar guy no. still? Oh, I'm just it, paper everywhere, it, ink it. all over the place. How do you so do now move How back do you out. But but right okay, now. I do have some bad news. He's going to have to dismount his Facebook page because he wants me to respond okay. to all of you that send him friend requests right. or messages. I had a Facebook doing? page for two weeks. I said, Who are these I people? ain't got time to talk to <laughs> everybody. That's what I wondered why you got one to do. Take this. I, I am not going to. Close yeah, but I want you as a friend. No, I don't want you as a friend. <laughs> I ain't got time to read all that crap. <laughs> I'll just ask her what's happening, Eric. You don't watch like. Uh, I mean, yeah. It's just it's just hard being popular these days. <laughs> Let's go to 
local and lovely right now, one of our favorite entertainers. Well, he couldn't be here. Oh, so Eric's, <laughs> Eric's, <laughs> Eric's in here this morning. Roll tight and y'all hang on. Left a good job in the city, working for the men every night and day. I never thought the men in the sleep would worry about the way things might have been. Well, big things keep on turning, crown there keep on burning, and we're rolling, 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 rolling on a river, and we're rolling, 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 rolling. Place in Memphis, pumped a lot of pain down in New Orleans. But I never saw the good side of the city till I used to ride on a river for Queen Well, big wheels keep on turning. Proud Mary, keep on turning. Rolling, 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 rolling on a river. And we're rolling, 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 rolling. gonna find some people who live you don't have to worry cause you have no money the people on the river are happy to get well they wheels keep on turning proud mary keep on turning rolling 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 on the river they will rolling 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 on the river Really? Sheila Lauderdale, this is for you. <laughs> Sponsored by my buddy One Love Hearing Concepts. Oh. Zeke. Selling locations, 233-3844. You can get them financed, everything. If you can't hear good, he can fix you up. He so can. Don't mind see Zeke yeah, down at One Love Hearing Concept. In case y'all forgotten since I've been on vacation, wrong answer. Right answer. Vianna Sausages, and all you people yeah. playing worldwide, the number one game show at 615 Anywhere in the World is right here. Right there. Here we go, Thirsty, you ready to play? Yes, sir, very all much. Right. <laughs> here we go, right here. Sheila playing along at home. What is retail apocalypse? The it's way we buy things it's are going Amazon to change. It's prime deal, man. That it's starts today, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's the prime deal. That's got a lot to do with it. But it means it's a shift from brick and mortar retail to online shopping. It's a national trend mm. with more than 3,500 stores nationwide expected to close in the next few months. Mm -hmm. What nice. is one of those stores in Athens? Kmart. 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 I hate that too, man. Kmart. Have they said when it's finished? When's the sale? I told, start? I told First. They say sales probably start by the end of the month. End of the month. Got to get down there and get me some new clothes. So they're not closing. They're just going they're switching to online. They're just no, they're closing. Well, they're closing the store. They're closing online. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what it I'm. It was corn day at the farmers market over in Decatur this weekend, and we went to the farmers market here in Athens and bought some fresh corn. But here's the question to all you. Oh, I hope my buddy Christopher Becker is watching this morning. He <laughs> probably know the answer to this question. He will. With all the rain, according to the farmers, what name me 
three, one of the three vegetables that it's helping the most. Corn. Corn. corn yeah. Wrong answer. Mm. Tomatoes. Can't get in to get the corn right Tomatoes. Now. Tomatoes. Wrong answer. Cheese. Cucumbers. Cucumbers is the right answer. Uh, Indeed. Uh, squash. Squash is the right answer. We got a bunch of it. And beans. Beans. All right. Frank gave us some squash. Yes, he did. Y'all ever, you know, y'all like squash. I do. But when you boil it or whatever you do, Grill bake it. it, it sucks when you try to <laughs> eat it. That's why you got to fry it. It does well, not mm -mm. stink. Man, you need to grill it. Sauteed squash. Sauteed squash. squash. Oh, yes. Hey, right over. try cooking it in a little bit of coconut oil. Your, yeah. your vegetables. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. <laughs> that sounds good. What is the new movie to be shot in Alabama? Trading Paint. Who's in it? John Travolta. All right. All right. <laughs> but here's a real question. No, I thought she was going to know that one, didn't yes. you? <laughs> he oh, yeah. did. What part of Alabama? Is it, is John it? Travolta was in a movie, Disco Dancing. Remember that one? Yeah, Saturday Disco. Night Live. Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was it inspired by? Tom Jones. <laughs> Thirsty, do you know this one? I don't. It know. was inspired by mm -hmm. the clubs, a Studio private Central. dinner and dance club on top of Red Mountain in Alabama. Did really? you know that? Oh. No way. Well, I know the club, yeah, but I didn't realize Saturday sure Night Live or Saturday Night Fever. Was, Fever. Wow. That's where it was. Was that the Saturday Night Fever? What? Ah, here we go. I didn't know that. That's the disco. Early Alabama, Alabama Florida clash could be telling right here. How many games, SEC games, consecutively mm -hmm. has Alabama won? Oh. 14. Come on, Zach. How many games consecutively? SEC, SEC game. Oh, it's 14. Yeah, I was going to go with Joe. 17. 17 is the right answer. Was the right answer. <laughs> he should Our get sports that. guy better win that one. That's what right. The SEC, because, you know, SEC media day is going on Shame right now. We have a blood. correspondent down there. Who's Gil, Greg <laughs> Gilmerth, he has got his picture made with Paul Flambaum, Greg Shatton. CTV correspondent. Greg, <laughs> CTV correspondent. <laughs> Star Spangled Banner was first played at a baseball game how many years ago this year? 100. 100 is right. right. What game was it? Indians and the Yankees. In the Tigers. In Boston. Versus. Yankees Red Sox. The. It was the Cubs eight. actually played in it. Oh, it was in 1918. Chicago Cubs. Yeah. Who was pitching in one of the, the opposing pitcher? What were the two teams again? Oh, I can't find the other one, but in the Cubs. <laughs> one of the, uh, okay, Boston Red Sox, Chicago Cubs. Yeah, the pitcher Babe was Ruth. Babe Ruth. 1980, the pitcher was Babe Ruth. That is a right That's answer. That's why I was asking. How'd you know that? Well, because oh, he started yeah. off as a pitcher That's when he was slim. All right, according to USA Today, <laughs> all you folks playing at home, pay attention. Historic preservationists are fighting to save a building in Phoenix. What kind of building is it? It's a 1957 building. Still open today. Car dealership. Wrong. Mm. Mm. A know. liquor store with two drive-ins, one on each side. Wow. wow. A liquor store drive-in. Oh, man. Melrose mm. Liquors, huh? Because you can't wait. What's that the newest be, thing with chocolate? Time. <laughs> it's sugar-free. Sugar-free chocolate. It's chocolate. It's free. It's, uh, Which, it's what was in the question? Form of what is the newest chocolate. thing from chocolate? Chocolate bacon. Chocolate cocoa. Oh. Loco, I mean. Chocolate loco. <laughs> what? Wait, what? what? <laughs> chocolate. Yeah, yeah. chocolate. It's coco loco is the name of it. Oh, wow. You snort it. Oh, oh give me a break. Oh. Oh. You didn't have that. The raw coconut snuff website claims it is even used by athletes to give them the natural competitive edge. You can buy on Amazon a one and quarter ounce container for $24.99. So instead of dipping snuff, yeah. but here, Stephen Gold, an ear, nose, and throat specialist, says he doesn't know if snorting chocolate is safe or not. Hey, Brad, they I'm believe. thinking yeah. not. <laughs> he needs sleep. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sort of this, to your lungs what famous thing bad. Bad. was invented in 1946 that you see a lot of this time of year? 1946. The lawn sprinklers. Oh, I know. 
A bikini. Yeah. Bikini. Oh, I was going to bring one up here, but I got one in my pocket. Hey, you're <laughs> best on your game today, Joe. I know. Where did I pull that one from? Tony Brad with Novanti in 1954. Yeah. Elvis Presley's first commercial recording session took place at Sun Records. What was the song? Oh, Suspicious Minds. Oh, that's earlier. No, that was recorded at Fame. No, Come that's on, Brad. I yes, that's all right, Mama. That's all right. That's easy. Is that right? That is impressive. That was okay. an easy question. Here we go. Come I'm just glad you know it. Here we go. <clears throat> what is the name of the newest Alabama restaurant that serves hot dogs? Bama Dog. In Stevenson, which is that one. Stevenson. Yep. Uh, don't know. Nathan's? Big dog. <laughs> Burger King. Party. Three dogs. What's the name of it's it? The... What's their novelty thing? Oh, uh, Frankenstein. Or they something. serve hot dogs from a tree stand. <laughs> wow. That's Why? A tree stand. Okay. Tree stand dog. Why? Tree dogs. And you put your order in the bucket and they go up and they cook your hot dog and they send it back down. <laughs> it's in the middle of Stevenson. Evidently they got nothing that else That does to not do look there. good. <laughs> Two dogs for their like dogs. Burn the house, the tree well, down. It does not got, look good. Where do you good. go to the bathroom up there, man? Well, you don't <laughs> eat up there. You okay. eat down yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> but what about the guy who works? Danny, first of all, it's a tree. It's a tree. You just let it rip. Oh, that's sad. Oh, goodness. Uh, here, uh, <laughs> would you want to eat there? Tree no. Uh, Y'all ever been to Stevenson? Man, man it looks like a family that you visited that time, the Duggars or whatever. <laughs> Dugger dogs. That looks Dugger like their place. Dogs. Yeah, no uh, Daily Mail had a thing called World's Most Isolated Family. It did not include Donnie Huddleston up in Alaska. <laughs> They live how many miles by snowmobile to the nearest Alaskan town? Can you tell me that. Oh, no. No, not that. Five hundred. Five hundred. A hundred miles. Two hundred miles by snowmobile. Wow. They take a month vacation once a year. They live in a 21-foot by 26-foot cabin. Their freezer is a six-foot deep Shoot. freezer in permafrost. Where do they visit when they come into the United into the United States? When they come into the regular country once a month? Walmart. Walmart. Yeah. Alabama. She's yeah. from Alabama. Really? Yeah. Is this on TV? TV show? No, <laughs> They'd make a good yeah. one. They live alone. It's a man, wife, and girl. Okay. Who is Katie Rick? Katie Rick, twenty-something-year-old, maybe thirty, good-looking gal, accountant. What's her claim to fame? Mark Rick's dog. She wants to go out with me. Katie Rick. <laughs> That's, it. That's it, Jack got it. <laughs> what would it be? And you folks playing at home, if y'all know, and all over the world. Are we giving you a hint? Yeah, she's on ESPN, son. She's a world champion. Katie Rick. Rick. What is her championship? Hot dog eating. She's the What's her championship in? Hot dog eating. What's her championship in? Uh, <laughs> Hammer ring. Oh, lost on that one, Jamie. We don't know. Log rolling. Oh, of course. She's a professional wow. log roller. She can run down that thing without missing a beat. I enjoy watching those guys wow. do that. Hey, yeah. those, uh, She'd be a lot more fun to watch than yeah. the guys, probably for right. you. <laughs> I bet that Two is a other fall. simple questions. Goodness. Hmm. A guy down in Cancun the other day, 40-year-old named Cal Monzon, had his arm bitten off by a crocodile. Ow. Oh. What did he do to get his arm bitten off? Tickled him. Oh, he was diving for golf balls. <clears throat> that did happen to a guy. That did oh, happen. okay. So that's not the same story? No. Dang it. What was he doing? <laughs> right. So close. What was he doing? What was he doing? What was he doing? He was, he was slaving. He was at a lagoon in Cancun where there was like 120 gators. He was taking a whiz. Oh, he great. was urinating on the side of the pond when a gator came up and wow. not snapped his thing off, but snapped his arm off. Wow. <laughs> huh? It's sad to say it. the gator could reach his arm before he could reach other things. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the sad part of the story. Uh, you can take, uh, you can take arms, don't take it. Get the closest thing, his arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Sorry. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, simple, 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 easy question to go out here on as I'm back from a week's vacation. What was the real, 50 years ago, came out, 
What is the real name of Pillsbury's Doughboy? <laughs> Bubba. Oh. What's his real name? Come on, Danny. Well, let's see. Some parts of the world have been shaggy. Fluffy? <laughs> Fluffy? What? Fluffy, is it? Ew. What? Fluffy? Come yeah. on, Sheila Lardell, I know you know. What is it? Uh, what is the real that? name of Doughboy? Y'all go on. We don't Be mad when I tell you. Uh-oh. Poppin' Fresh. That's what? it, it is it, Poppin that's it. Fresh. You know I need yeah, you. Yeah. There is no winner today. And that's Justin Fresh. Justin Fresh. Now y'all can go fresh. through all day today talking about the guy getting his arm bit off instead of a thing when he was taking a whiz and he can't come. <laughs> <laughs> Poppin' Fresh, that's the real name for the great no boy. Y'all hang on. <laughs> Waiting on this Poppin' Fresh. Is that because he's belly? Let's just quickly jump into this forecast. You would not believe the conversations we get to have during the break. 66 degrees. Yeah, not Jamie either, huh? 66 degrees out there right now, probably about 67 already, but it's going to be a beautiful, warm day today. High temperatures of 92, low of 71. No rain today, but tomorrow, 40% chance of those showers. So grab an umbrella should you need it. Those are not going to be just a downfall. Those are going to be scattered showers. So, But that chance jumps up to about 60%. Um, the hot. following day it is, so that's why we get these showers. So chance of rain every day for quite some time after tomorrow. Hey, let me remind you, anything. our favorite eye doctor will be in business here tomorrow. Dr. Tyke Miller is back open. He's been open. We've just been gone. He'll be here tomorrow <laughs> with us, straightening all that where we can see better. He will. See better. Speaking of seeing, I couldn't find nothing to look at Saturday. There was nothing on TV except no, nobody's in the parking lot either. I can see that. <laughs> you know what? I spent three hours from 11 till 2. Three doing hours, Saturday. literally. The he Virginian did. is back on Cozy TV. Someone really? tell Mary. Man, I had an episode I'd never seen before. Oh, my. So I watched it. Got a great idea for a new Hans beef commercial. Oh, I when they hired them cattle in, that's what we're going to run now. Herd them cattle. That means Markov got another load of beef. Cause right now we're sold out. Basically hey, everything. but good wow. news is by the end of the week we will have more. So if you need fillets or ribeyes, you better get us. So quick. what? And then I see uh, Talladega Nights. Yeah. Okay. And I catch Danny's part, and you said you saw. I it. watched it too. Yeah, it's the first time I'd seen it in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. It was funny. A lot of cameos in that too. Yeah. With the real NASCAR drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dale mm -hmm. Jr. and uh, all the all the announcers. The announcers. Yeah. We want to hear behind the scenes stuff, yeah. Danny. It, yeah, there's uh, Danny right there. Look. Oh, <laughs> shake and bake. Shake and bake. <laughs> shake and bake right there. Yeah. yeah. Are they clowns on the set? Yes. Actually, actually, John was talking. We were going headed out. We were finished, and we were going to the elevator. We got in the elevator, and evidently, John was was about to get married to this young lady, and he was asking Will some advice, and I just kind of went over to the other side, you know, <laughs> oh, wow. just listened, you know. But uh, he said, "Well, call her first, ask her, and then if it's not the right one, then she'll tell you right off. She'll tell you. Oh, they'll tell you." you know? <laughs> call her. So, yeah, it's, it's he's got. He told evidently, her to call her. Well, he, evidently, he wanted to get her something, and he was. Oh, oh okay. Kind of. Well, anyway, the Virginia was on or, for three, two hours, back to back, yeah. starting. It'll, if you've never seen the Virginia, it's one of the best West that long. ever. Yeah. Dusty was mad when you took it off, cozy. I was too. Have Mary you ever seen Mold. the Gary Cooper movie, The Virginia? No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't. Long, old time but first, let me take time, man. My buddy Gary Ryan, Gary and I, he brought a couple cars up yeah. there. You know, I went to school at Sneed in 1972 <coughs> before I flunked out. Uh, <laughs> sends me this. I'm going to read this to y'all. Uh -oh. Hello. Hello. Is this Gordon's Pizza? 
No, sir, it's Google Pizza. Did I dial the wrong number? No, sir, Google bought the pizza store. Oh, all right. Then I'd like to place an order, please. Okay, sir, do you want the usual? The usual? You know what my usual is? Well, according to the caller ID, the last 15 times you ordered a 12 slice with double cheese sausage and thick crust. Okay, that's what I want this time, too. May I suggest this time you order an eight-ounce slice with tomato instead and some other things? No, I hate vegetables, but your cholesterol is not good. How do you know that? <laughs> Through the subscriber's guide. We have the results of your blood test for the last seven years. <laughs> Maybe so, but I don't want the pizza you suggest. I already take medicine for high cholesterol. But you haven't taken the medicine regularly four months ago you purchased from Drug Sale Network, a box of only 30 tablets. I bought more from another drugstore. It's not showing on your credit card, sir. I paid in cash. <laughs> but according to your bank statement, you did not withdraw that much cash. I have another sort of cash. This is not showing on your last tax form. Unless you got it from an undeclared income source. Then he says, what the hell? Enough, enough. I'm sick of Google, Facebook, Twitter, and WhatsApp. I'm going to an island without internet where there's no cell phone line, no one to spy on me. I understand that, sir, but you'll need to renew your passport. It expired five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Well, Gary, I'm yeah. giving you Google credit for everything. that. That's Top a that good one, Eric. Google Let's does get everything. another song in here right now from Eric Smallwood in here. From Cross Key, Alabama, live this Tuesday morning, back in action. Get a CD. <clears throat> Local and loving it. Y'all, <laughs> hang on.
gets mic'd up to join the big boys over here this morning. What's going on with Where can people get one of these uh, sweetest, sweeter things? Sweeter. Yeah, so sweeter. I'll hold it like that. That'd I'll just hold it like yeah, this. Yeah, that'd be a good way. Uh, man, you can go online. I, I sell these on my website, ericsmallwood.com, or uh, you can actually go on Amazon and purchase one. You can go to iTunes and purchase. If you do Apple Music, it's subscription Apple Music. I have a Pandora station, Spotify. Yeah, go go start an Eric Smallwood station on Pandora or, or Spotify today and, and listen to my station for a little bit. It's and still cool. worship ministry? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. That's that's what I'm focusing more of my energy on uh, these days. I don't really play out as much. I have a couple of gigs coming up this year and still try to get involved in the community some. But. Speaking of gigs, I should have taken a picture with him when I saw him Saturday. We were at the farmer's market. Guess who was playing down there? Y'all know you've done it. Yeah. Barry Kay. No way. Oh, Barry Kay was alive and well and playing away down there. He was. Barry Barry Kay. Kay. And he said he'll come back. He said, you ain't called me. You just yeah. haven't called him. Barry Kay, always Shame on time. On Mary would always walk in about 7 minutes. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I hear Wade's wanting to make a return visit. Yes, we, I talked to Wade yesterday. I'm going to get in touch with him today. End of the month, he'll be back. Married Wade. Married Wade oh, and Mrs. Wade may come yeah, in. Yeah. What's going Mrs. on? Mrs. Wade. Carman? Well, we got him booked for a show in September. Yeah, yeah. he's going to be playing for us, so yes, that'll be cool. Uh, a couple of shows uh, Thursday I'll be talking about, uh, you know, big Eli block party. Uh, We're headed to Florence to McFarland Park, so I'll tell you all the details about that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So you're back in action. Back in action. Got, yeah, got a... Uh, I had an audition Sunday. I got an audition today. Got an audition tomorrow, and then the call back Friday. So yeah, it's busy again. Your business is good. Business is good. What about your students? Students are hanging in there. They've been very uh, loyal uh, during my absence of, of all my sicknesses and whatnot, but uh, they, they back. Yeah. All right, we had a buddy reach out to us. I don't know if you ever got James Wright. Did you ever have get uh, No, here? no, I haven't yet. He's got. He directed our show. Drove in from. Tennessee. Collinwood, Tennessee, every day to Athens, director of show. Very creative guy. And he's got thousands of people on. They, uh, he has a YouTube channel that YouTube talks channel, about it, The Walking Dead, and he oh. narrates but he, why the virus happened. But he says he happened. don't have no camera person, persona. He needs, he needs a more it. peppy voice and everything, because someone said, do all people like that in the South sound like that? And uh -oh. that bothered him. Oh. He was like, oh, man. Well, Nashville had a big thing last weekend or something he went to for it. all these YouTubers. Yeah. And people like that up there. Yeah. It's amazing if you yeah. look at you know we people that work regular jobs, uh, <laughs> how much money these people make. I know, just yeah. living a YouTube. Yeah, channel. it is. Uh, well, we're twenty, thirty thousand a month. We are not smart. Much more than that. But let me tell you something. I'm trying to make more money with a different stream <laughs> of income too now. So hey, if you want to lose weight, get energy. Call Gloria today. Six on three. I'm telling you, this stuff really works now. In conjunction with the stuff I take from herbs and more that I have for 20 years, you start taking this stuff. It's just a lifestyle change. Your energy level goes through the roof. There are some downsides, and I might as well get it out right now. You ain't going to wind up after two months. Your clothes ain't going to fit you. But hang on to them. In case you get off the stuff, you'll get fat again. No, but you down, won't. Downsides. That's right. People all, well, you sick? What's wrong with you? <laughs> you stand up later again, I'd stay up till eight o'clock now if I wanted wow. to. Wow. I don't try to do that, but you know, you can. You just feel better. You got more energy, you want to work out, night. you want to do something. You don't spend as much on groceries. Swimming. Okay. Hey, Maddie makes him swim. Yeah. That's good. Swimming's good for All you. the time. I think water. anything you can find, I feel like to get you prompted Started. in the right direction to yeah. make you want to be active. Well, you know, you, yeah. Yeah, Let's yeah. talk about Eric's story for just a minute. I mean, you lost almost a whole person. How much weight did you actually I was lose? almost 300 pounds. What? So I've lost about 90 pounds. Yeah. I was a size 44 waist. Uh, but you did it to exercise. What did I it did for it. you? What did it for you? You said you woke up scared. one day. I was scared of dying at a young age. Mm -hmm. I, I had uh, pre-diabetic symptoms, uh, going blind in my eyes, tired all the time, using the bathroom all the time. And Drink I just, sodas all the I thought time. I was going to. Uh, I, I was afraid I was going to die. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. sodas all the time. I would get thirsty in the middle of the night and go and grab sodas and chug one can after the other throughout the night. I'd wake up with 20 soda cans around my What? Yeah, oh, good. Yeah. I would stop. I mean, my, a, a regular meal for me at a fast food joint was a couple burgers, two chick, chicken sandwiches, two large fries, uh, apple pies. I mean, just everything. At one Four, time? 40 chicken one nuggets. Meal. Yeah, I mean, 40 one chicken meal. nuggets. One meal. I could sit there and do them one meal, probably, and eat all that in about 30 to 45 minutes, too. 
it wasn't like it was a course of an hour. Get out. Yeah, I would pig out, man. How did you out. discipline yourself? Like you said, everybody needs to find that one thing that's going to get you to where you need to get closer well, to I your think goals. It's a, I think uh, change, all change starts with a desire for change. Mm -hmm. First, you've got to have a desire to change. I mean, you've got to have the desire in your heart. Get, you know what? Ahead. And once you have it, yeah, right. And, but once you have that desire, I think the hardest part is just uh, focusing on one small thing at a time and making sure that you just change your bad habits into good habits. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's not like getting rid of foods. It's about moderation and about eating those foods at the right time of the day. Mm. You know, I love bread, and bread is never going to leave my life. But I've got to, like, an uh, issue I have is late, late night snacking on carbs. So bad for you. Yes. If you want carbs, you don't have to get rid of them. Just put them early in your Eat day. Eat them for breakfast. Burn so you can burn them <laughs> off <laughs> during the day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go to something healthier at night. So you were hungry. You should look, oh, at, look wow. up his page, too, and you can actually see before and yeah. after pictures. Yeah. Have, we have a video. Yeah. Me and my wife actually lost weight together. We yeah. have a video on my page, ericsmallwood.com, in my blog section. And you can see a, a five-minute video of our story. So it's really cool. awesome. Yeah. All right. All right. This morning we Congrats. started bright and early with a new <laughs> venture here, Yellowhammer TV Live with Dale Jackson from BNN right next door. Dale starts over there at seven. He ain't even got to work over there yet. Yeah. But he came in here this morning bright and early about 4:20, 4:25. We started at five live. You can see them every morning, five o'clock here on too. TV 11. Yellowhammer News. If y'all never gone to their website, they're not quite. Uh, as big as AL.com, but they're getting it. They are the number one source for political news in the state of Alabama. Got almost 100,000 friends on Facebook. Wow. A million hits a month. Not bad. Uh -huh. They are partners with us now. Yellowhammer TV and Dale Jackson live here in the studio. If you want political news, you get it here first at 5 o'clock. Here's a little bit this morning, and we'll come back with Eric in just a second. Y'all hang on. Ads coming out of the strange campaign and this isn't like a pack this is the actual campaign these on, on these flyers it says Luther Strange I approve this message I mean that's the the message here he has started to come out into some forms he has actually come to some now but he was missing at uh, a lot of them he's still not doing all of them uh, but he's out there he's losing straw polls I mean this is happening this is not uh, a great thing for an incumbent to be seen right now we'll discuss a little bit more into this James he's behind in this race. He's probably got a lot of name recognition. Congressman Mo Brooks does not have a ton of name recognition outside uh, of Coleman and above in the state of Alabama. Is it possible something like this could actually help him? Well, I think it's obvious that Mo Brooks has Luther Strange rattled at this point. Now, uh, Luther Strange does have the money, so a lot of money is going to come into play, and that's why we're seeing the ads this early. It is pretty early to be doing attack ads in, in a race like this uh, with such a short span. However, uh, obviously Mo Brooks has, has done something to rattle Luther's cage, so it was an attack on Roy Moore, who arguably is second, if not first, in most of the polls. So I think that Luther Strange is, is kind of throwing some shots and seeing if anything lands. All right, we'll come back and we'll discuss more of this in the second segment. Let's move on to topic number two. Uh, topic number two here is pretty simple, uh, dreamers. Uh, now, I spoke to the White House press briefing and spoke to Sean Spicer many months ago and asked about uh, dreamers, DACA and DAPA, their parents, etc. And one of the questions was, why is this thing still going on? Well, here in the state of Alabama, we have a story. And the story basically goes like this. A young man was a dreamer. He applied for this under the Obama administration. He received it for two years, and he was reaffirmed. But then he got picked up. And the way the media was originally spending this is he was picked up for having an open beer bottle. Turns out later on, he was also picked up in the past for trafficking methamphetamines. Shannon Reeves, uh, you've worked at the RNC. Uh, the DACA program this isn't something the RNC wanted or Republicans wanted, but they all seem kind of reticent to roll this thing back. This isn't the guy you're talking about when we're saying, hey, dreamers, uh, people who were brought here when they were two, we can't throw them out of the country. This is a meth dealer. Is he a good poster boy for something like this? Well, first of all, the program is flawed in itself. I mean, our immigration system and program is flawed uh, as it stands. Uh, the bigger issue is, I mean, this guy's done. 
I mean, when, you, when you're, you're trafficking drugs, I don't care what the situation might be, this is where we have a problem. For people who come here and who are trying to use the immigration system properly, even for those that came here as children who are not responsible for how they got here, but if doing, when doing well, they've gotten a, a public education provided by the American taxpayers, uh, they're in a different scenario. This guy has violated the law, and I'm sorry, he's done. Okay, James. Down the line, oh, far from Folsom Prison. Swear I won't. 